Boxing has always been conducted on a primitive level. It feeds on primitive emotion, survival of the fittest. Yet it appeals to, among others, those who call themselves cultural. Even broadcasters find it necessary to call fights in tuxedos. Boxers are made from all classes of people, many born of poverty and seeing it as a means of making a million. Supporters say boxing allows fighters and fans alike to vent frustrations that otherwise might be released on the street. Others say it is simply barbaric, something for the bloodthirsty with no purpose other than to knock someone senseless. Miami's Dr. Ferdy Pacheco is director of boxing for NBC and for 14 years was Muhammad Ali's physician. He says boxing may be less violent than other sports. The reverse of what you're thinking is true. Maybe the least or violent or most controlled violent sport is boxing. You're out in the open, two men without any equipment on, no hidden violence going on as in the line of play of football, hockey, and so forth. You're out in the open, you're in a spotlight, you have no equipment on, you have a referee right next to you, you have a corner that every three minutes can assay the damage. I mean, you look, go back to the history of boxing. First, they didn't wear gloves. Then you could hit a guy when he was down or as soon as he got up. As soon as his knee was one millimeter off the canvas, you can hit him. And if not, look at some of the old fights with Dempsey and Johnson and so forth. We've gotten to the point where we're really getting pretty respectable in boxing. We got to the point where we can, uh, a corner can stop a fight, the referee can stop a fight, a doctor can come and stop a fight. We're getting to the point where the referees is getting so scared they're stopping a fight ahead of time, they're not letting a guy be down on his knees. When it's obvious that the fighter has no business continuing to fight, they should stop the fight. Still, Pacheco believes more needs to be done to make boxing safer, and he's proposed a series of improvements he claims would eliminate boxing-related deaths and 70% of all injuries. The Pacheco plan calls for a surgically trained doctor in each corner with authority to stop a fight. Corner men would be required to take a paramedic course. An ambulance would be required at every fight. And Pacheco would develop a computerized clearinghouse that must approve every bout. The computer would list every fighter and his record and hopefully eliminate mismatches. Knockout victims would have to wait 90 days for another fight. But Pacheco may have to draft federal legislation in an effort to implement those ideas. Tomorrow, we turn our attention to the violence outside the ring. Rich Funky, Channel 4 Sports.